Okay, so check this out. We all have experience where we get credit card after credit card offer in the mail. And that doesn't stop there. Even through social media, when you're surfing the web, you are overrun with different ads, ways for credit card companies to get you to get a new credit card. So, why do banks love to give you a credit card? Let's talk about five big reasons why banks and credit card companies love to give you credit cards. Hey, make sure to watch all the way to the end of this video because I'm gonna share with you number five, which is something you probably have not considered as a reason why banks and credit card companies love to give you a credit card. Let's roll. What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Here at Average John Money, we are entirely focused on helping people like you and me, the average Joe, learn the basic fundamental principles of personal finance that we should have learned in school. Okay, so we've all experienced where we are overrun with promotions and different credit card companies and banks trying to give us a credit card. You go to your bank, they tell you about a special offer to open a new credit card. You get an offer through surfing the web or on Facebook or even on Instagram for a new credit card, a new promotion, one way to get you in the door to get a new credit card. Why are they doing this? Well, let's kick it off with the first big reason why banks love to give you a credit card. Okay, so this is the one that probably most people get and understand. When a credit card company gives you a credit card and you happen to carry a balance over the next month, you're gonna pay interest on that outstanding balance. And interest rates for credit cards are not cheap. They're usually north of 20%. You might be thinking to yourself, well, you know what, if I just pay off my bill each and every month, then I won't have any interest charges. And that's true. But the statistics show that most Americans are carrying and balance on their credit card. Let me just give you my own personal example. When we were back and going through some real financial struggles, we had an American Express card that I was using kind of for real estate business expenses when I was an agent. But once we were starting to struggle financially and I wasn't making as much money as I wanted to, I started to just put our daily expenses on that card because we didn't have cash in the bank. And we maxed it out at $10,000 and we couldn't spend anymore, but each minimum payment was $200 a month and that got me to just below 10,000 and then I'd owe 200 more dollars in interest. And then the next month, 200 more dollars in interest. And I was not really paying the balance down, maybe very small amounts each and every month, but any extra money I ended up putting back on the card. And I think that most Americans are the same way. Most people don't have this plan to go out and spend too much money so that they're gonna pay a lot of money in interest. It just kind of happens if you're not intentional and purposeful with how you spend your money. With credit cards, we have the minimum payment trap. Now, by law, they do have to disclose to you how much interest you're going to pay if you pay just the minimum payment, and it's horrible. You should just read your statement and take a look at it. It's really bad, and a lot of people find themselves just paying the minimum, and they have no real plan to pay off their credit card debt any time soon. According to an April 2018 report from the American Bankers Association, 44% of credit card users reported carrying a balance into the next month. That's nearly one in two people. No wonder banks love to give you credit cards. I've worked in the banking and mortgage industry for the past 10 years. And let me tell you what, I have looked at a lot of credit reports. People are up to their eyeballs in credit card debt. Credit card companies and banks are not stupid. They know what they're doing with the cards that they have an annual fee, and that helps them recoup their expenses for any rewards that they're paying out. You're usually gonna find the credit cards with annual fees, the ones that have the high benefits or rewards. And a lot of times with those statistics, they know how much that annual fee needs to be to make sure that they break even or even make money on you, even though you think you're making it out ahead with your rewards. Okay, so with cash advance fees, why would you do this? Credit cards, of course, have the normal way that you charge the card for your expenses, but additionally to that, they have an option to use a cash advance option sort of like drawing money out of your ATM with your debit card, except you can use your credit card. But I would not recommend doing this. Let me tell you why. Typically the fee to do a cash advance on your credit card is $10 or 5%. 
whichever is more. Obviously, this is a lot more than just using a debit card, even if it's not your bank, even if you go to one of those big square ATM machines where you think, holy smokes, they're charging me too much money. It's cheaper than using your credit card. Now, here's the reality. When it comes to cash advance on your credit card, most people understand that you shouldn't do this, that you don't even need to do it. You can go get cash from your ATM or using your debit card or just use the actual credit card. But there are also certain types of transactions that are gonna count as cash advance or cash equivalent, such as paying for lottery tickets. They're not gonna be charged normally like on your credit card, they're gonna be counted as cash advance. And guess what? Here's the big surprise, the big spoiler here. Interest, normally when you have a balance on your credit card, the only reason you would pay interest is if you carry a balance past your due date. You pay the minimum payment and you get charged interest on the remaining amount. That's not the case with cash advance expenses. Those accrue interest from the very moment that you charge it. Not at the end of the period when you happen to carry it over from the date you do it. And if you happen to have a credit card company that has a lower interest rate, they probably have a much higher interest rate for cash advance fees or expenses. Trust me, you don't want to do this and banks, credit card companies, make a lot of money off of the cash advance. Shut the front door, selling my information? Okay, so not you specifically. There are a lot of companies out there that want to learn more about you, the typical consumer. Not you specifically, but people like you, you as a consumer group, learning your spending habits and behaviors, and they will pay money for that. And guess what? Your bank and your credit card company is more than happy to sell that information to them. Now, you do have the option to opt out of this, but it's not easy and you're gonna have to take some steps to do that. I will go ahead and drop a resource in the description below here in this video for if you want to take more steps to opt out of this if you have a credit card. Okay, so paying with cash versus paying with a credit card. Not sure if you realize this, but there have been studies that have been done. You are more likely to spend more money if you spend swipe a credit card than if you pay with actual cash that you pull out of your wallet. I can tell you this from personal experience. When we were trying to get out of the hole that we had dug ourselves financially, we used cash budgeting envelopes. We pulled out cash from our bank account, we put them in specific envelopes, and that's all the money we had. So if we went to the grocery store, we took it out of the envelope, we literally handed cash over, and guess what? It was gone. It felt differently than just swiping a card. There was a 2001 study where they did a number of different scenarios to see if somebody would spend more money with cash or with a credit card. In this 2001 study, they did a few auctions with some really stupid people. No, 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 MBA, people who are studying for their master's degree. Smart people, right? They did this study with master's degree candidates. And they did a number of different auctions and they had some people that paid with cash and some that paid with credit card and they had an auction. And guess what? On average, people that were paying with a credit card were willing to spend more money on the auction for sports tickets, different types of events or personal items. The study found that on a number of different occasions in this study, people that were offering up on this auction with a credit card versus cash were more likely to offer more money. I will link to this study in the description below in case you're curious. So credit card companies love you because odds are with your credit card, you are going to spend more money on that card than you normally would with cash. And guess what? When you spend more money than you intended, odds are you're gonna carry a balance because you're not gonna be able to pay it off. And guess what? When you are spending more money and carrying a balance, you are paying interest. Another element here is when you are paying with plastic with a credit card, even if you don't carry a balance, even if you pay it off each and every month, they're making money off of every transaction. A cut of that, there's an expense or a fee that the merchant will pay every time they swipe a card and a portion of that's going to go back to the Visa or the MasterCard or the service that is handling the transaction. But guess what? Part of it goes back to the credit card as well. So banks and credit card companies love to give you credit cards. We know that. So you need to make a plan to get rid of your credit card debt, get rid of your auto loan debt and be debt free. How do you do that? Well, check out these videos right over there and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, and by the way, you should really consider subscribing. We put out new videos at least every Thursday.